Right, for our entertainment of today, we're going to kick the shit out of a legionary officer. Should be amusing, to say the least. I, when I say kick the shit out of him, I mean, um... Interrogate? Heavily? Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. Hello. You, you stick out boy. like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Yep. Uh, you're Boyd, right? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. I know. Always such stickless rules. Anyway, need some help? Yeah. So far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's legion recently. That's a big deal. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up. Even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Um, uh, What about a truth drop? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. Have you tried calling him hurtful names? Yes. And one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. Alright. Um, how about we just kick the crap out of him? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Alright, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Yeah, I'll just help myself to coffee for a moment. Long time no see, mm. Silus. Lieutenant. Oops, spilt it. I was just thinking about you. That's mm. so. I was. Delicious. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I what was an absolute about penis. How it would look with a legion slave collar on it. Boone. Oh, pass. you're doing your angry face. Do you know what I love about our slave Shh. collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were going to give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. Oh, and yeah. Who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus? If you resist at all, 
I'll personally blow your brains out. Isn't his Come name pronounced in. Silas or something? Yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Fine. Hiya! I'm Max. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Hmm. Yeah. I think you're confused. I'm the... I'm with the excrement right now. You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. Oh, you must miss giving orders now that all your men are dead. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves. To have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. Ah, uh, sounds like you were gutless to me. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Aww. Hey, I can see up your skirt. Get away from me. Woo-woo. Well, he's getting a bit shaky. Let's finish this up, then we can talk. Is something the matter, Silas? You look upset. Here, maybe you'd better step out for a moment. You've upset him. Your friend is a miserable fucking degenerate. That's not what my mom know. says. I thought he seemed like oh. a nice guy. Oh, if thank we you. If were on the other side of the river, I'd have him torn apart by dogs. Woof woof. That's a long walk, Silus. I don't think it's gonna happen. You'd better just talk. Your tactics are a joke. If you don't like dealing with me, I can bring my friend back in. Both of you can rot. Oh, yay. Come on back in. I think he misses you. You are aware my tactic is in violence, it's just to annoy the shit out of him before he gives in. We don't have anything to dis- Eh, you sure to talk to someone who's afraid to die. You think I could get where I was in the Legion army if I feared death? I've led charges against men with guns, carrying only my knife. And I can tell you, it was they who feared me. But suicide is a weak death on a battlefield. It says to your enemy that you fear capture. It says if you're caught, you can be broken. So you were unafraid to cut any throat but your own. You think I'm going to slit my throat for some megalomaniacal self-appointed dictator? I didn't work my way up to have it all be taken from me out of some irrational paranoia. Kaisar's losing it. I believe that. He's been shutting himself in his tent. Privately, he complains of headaches. Whatever it is, it's affecting his ability to lead. Time was essential for my mission, but we waited three days for him to dispatch us. Another of his headaches. Does that sound like a man in command? He has an operative planted in this very base, but does he use his agent to rescue me? No. He's content to have the agent spend his nights radioing troop positions back to our base camp. He knows I'm here, and he's left me to rot. I don't know. I know he sends intelligence by radio in the middle of the night. Sometimes that intelligence would find its way to my cantery. Hmm. I don't quite believe you. Then you're a fool. That man reports to Kaisar on what I do here. The Legion isn't going to take me back. My only hope is to escape and disappear. But if I escape and he reports it, they'll hunt me down as long as I live. It served me to report him as much as it served you. Ah, uh, I think I've heard all I need to know. You've been very helpful. Thanks, Silas. I hope the Legion burns your wretched body at the stake when they conquer this place. Nothing I could tell you would do anything to stop that. Get away from me. Hey, Boyd. Guess who's singing like a canary? You did well. 
I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him, and I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. Oh, thanks. So think of this as your commission. Ah, well, see you, Boyd. Yep, see you around. Huh, radios, radios. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Okay, well, I guess we should probably... Oh, there's a dude pointing at me. Hi. Contreras is holding out on me. I know he's got more to sell. Contreras? Well, let's go see Mr. Shu. Something hey, I Shu. Look who it is. I haven't had the privilege, but I'm told you've been an angel on our shoulder. What can we do for you at Camp Karen? Uh, never mind. Oh, there's Angela. Well, I guess we've got nowhere to go, but up. Hmm. Well, Boyd doesn't appear to be the spy. If she is, she's very good at it. Honored to speak with you, sir. Who's in here? MP confiscated goods truck. Oh, someone's got to have left something good in here. Shit. What do we have? Super stim pack, mentats, doctor's bag, boxing times. Oh, we'll have it all. Don't know why a lot of those magazines were taken off people, though. Alright, why is Pip Boy telling me to go over here? Ah! Hello. What's this? Deliver. Station camp. Full on help for Clarty Joseph. Oh, this is about that sniper. Camp that was near Cottonwood Cove. Oh shit, I already nicked the rifle. What is it? Hello, Captain. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtin. What do you do Officially, here? Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics. Patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. Ah. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Yeah, Shu wanted me to help you look into recent intelligence leaks. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Well, where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd, or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Right, see ya. Let's go talk to Boydie. And Contreras. People have mentioned him a few times. 
They sound sneaky. You're back. Notice anything suspicious lately? Now what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Said there have been thefts? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. I'll keep an eye out for missing supplies. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Who's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Anyone else? Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. Okay, I'll see if I can find him for you. Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. Seriously, it His ain't. belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Dazzle and... The concourse. Maybe break-in break isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Would you be willing to give me con the control tower access key so I can check it out? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Well, what can you tell me about Anders? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Okay. See yep. ya. Alright. Well, let's check things out in the concourse. What do we have here? Hey. Did the Colonel send you? I... I was hoping he might have changed his mind. What? You look upset. What's wrong? I know. I've been crying. Stupid. I'm supposed to be a soldier. My husband. He's a ranger and he... He got murdered by a pack of fiends. Goddamn savages laid his body out to rot. Brass won't say it to me straight, but they mean to leave Esteban out there. I can see that plane. It seems the NCR wouldn't do that to the best. Kind of strange. Colonel says he can't spare the men to bring Esteban back home. And the fiends, they put all kinds of mines and traps around his body. Snipers, too. Well, I'll... Recover your bloody husband's body. Mister, I'd about given up hope. But you've got to be careful. I don't want anybody else dying on my account. Esteban's body is laid out between some of the buildings, east of the Repcon headquarters. At least that's what his squad mates said. There's an NCR position just north of there. It's on the way. They should be able to tell you what the situation is. Ah, don't worry, I can handle myself pretty well. Uh... Bring a bit of sucker to an old widow. Hello. Well, an unfortunately young widow. Hello. Okay, white, white. Do you know which one of these is white? Far left, didn't she? Didn't she say? Boone, do you remember? Bugger. 
Because I don't. Aha! Here we go. Corporal White's journal. I pulled the log from the East Pump Station computer for the last week. Looking back over the past several weeks, the times are roughly consistent. There's definitely something going on. Wouldn't, water shouldn't even be going over to the west side, and yet the log says otherwise. I know I'm onto something. West side south system, west side north system. Ugh, that means we have to check out pumping stations and other such crap I really don't want to. Hello. Jesus, clean this place up. Hello. Listen, asshole, I know you're not really an NCR health inspector, so you can cut the restaurant critique routine. And I want my 50 caps back. Because I looked it up and there ain't no disease called colorectal implosion syndrome. So I paid you to look the other way for nothing. Wait, wait, you're not... Oh, wow, I'm sorry. You look just like... Never mind, sorry. So what can I serve you up? Okay, is there a health inspector bothering you? That's nothing. You just look like the health inspector who stopped through for the yearly inspection a couple of weeks back. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait another 11 months to see his crooked ass to get my caps back. Ah, well. Anything I can get you? Um... Got anything to eat? Oh, yeah. You can order up anything you want. As long as it's corn or beans. <laughs> Just kidding. Haven't you heard? With a few shipments from home and a little variety, the troops are getting restless for some quality grub. You can only do so much as a chef with just corn, beans, onions, and peppers. Okay, can anything be done to improve your supplies? Well, we haven't had any quality meat in months. Everyone in the camp just eating beans for protein. It isn't pretty. Some of my kitchen machinery is broken down, too, so we've been eating mostly raw vegetables. And I'm desperate for spices or seasonings. Anything, just something for the general mood around here. Alright, where should I find spices? The Crimson Caravan would probably be able to arrange a regular shipment, but I don't know of any spices known to improve mood. Hell, we have a whole research department. One guy's even set up in the main terminal building. They're the ones who ought to be looking into it. Uh, what part do you need to fix the food processor? Here's the list. We've been scrapping together quick fixes to keep it running for months. I think it finally crapped out and needs a full overhaul. It's the goofy machine behind the counter in the corner next to the stove. I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at it and get it fixed up. Where might I find these parts? I don't know. Parts? Try the various traders around the waste. Or the pawn shop in West Side might have some parts. Oh, I've heard of a place called House Tools you could check out. It's an old factory on the north side of Vegas. Just a word of warning, though. I hear no one who goes in there comes back out. Could be traps, crazy robots, or who knows what's in that place. Oh, great. Just to feed you fuck fix your fucking food processor. Where can I find meat in that amount you'd need? It doesn't need to all come from the same source. There are a bunch of different vendors around who sell meat. Fitz, the Nashes, Crimson Caravan. We've never really tried to go out and organize deals with merchants to supply our food. Already having an overstock of food, we haven't needed to. But we really need some good old red meat on the menu soon. So I'm willing to divert some caps in their direction if they're open to supplying us. Okay, um... What can I do? This spore pod extract from Keeley should help with morale. No shit. The stuff actually does all that, huh? I'll have to start testing this out immediately. This will really help keep the guys focused. I should pep them up a bit. Okay, food processor. Where are you? Jesus, what is this thing powered by? Nah, fuck it, I can jerry-rig this. Congratulations, your food processor hey, is now working. Back. Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. 
That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. Okay, supplies. What do you Never mind. Hell. See ya. The ring Contreras is holding out on me. I know he's got more to sell. Well, the food's now better. What are you pointing at? Oh wait, where am I going? Um, this way. We go down here. So that means there's got to be... Ah, the supply shack. Hello? Well, this place is, uh... bright and cheery. Let's see what's going on in this database. Regarding... Perimeter. Oh dear. Yeah, allowance replenishment. Healthier. Oh, do you know it works? Let's have a look at the weapons manifest. 8 in storage, 12 in storage. Increase gun run and sh weapon shipments and modify manifest to make these numbers match the earlier totals. Boyd is getting too suspicious. Why would you add that as a note at the end? Well, Contreras is a lot less sneaky than first anticipated. There goes what I believe would be a great game of cat and mouse between two minds. Instead, kind of just devolved into idiot left a note on his PC. Note to self, never write notes for myself on my PC, because somebody else will read them. And render unto me an absolute kicking. Hello. You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Got anything for sale? Take your oh, hello. Thirty seven rounds of that. Are you meant to be selling this to me? Um, and I will have you know what, take some of this C four. And this sniper rifle, I don't particularly need it anymore. Uvo, I will have a bunch of this 12.7 off you. Like 300 rounds of it. 30 rounds of hollow point 308. 30 rounds of armor piercing 308. And 75 rounds, 12.7 millimeter, armor piercing. Boom. Another satisfied customer. What kind of supplies did you have in Are mind, you implying by the way? I have some kind of secret under the table stash I only offer to certain clients? Because that could get a man in trouble.
Oh, I can be pretty resourceful. Perhaps we can work out a deal. Now you're talking my language. I do have an expanded inventory for people I can trust. If you're willing to do a little legwork for me, I could give you access to my stash and at a discount. Many of these items aren't available in the NCR, and you'll be hard-pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else. What do you need me to do? Well, I can't exactly go on. I can hear the MPs now. Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the Gunrunners. Speaking of which, guess your first stop. You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. Yeah, sure, whatever. Great, let me know what he says. They're almost a straight shot north from here. Up past the sharecroppers. Okay, bye. Oh yeah, he's crooked as fuck. Never mind. Let's go find a spy.